Now I am going to talk about lab migration. So do you want to migrate your lab to Scilab? We will help you. State your experiments. You code them in Scilab. We will give honorarium and a certificate. We will also host them on our website so that you can give a link for that in your resume or we can get your problem solved by experts, Scilab experts who may be your colleagues in some other college. We have already migrated more than 60 labs. Let me click this. Once again, it takes us to Scilab.in. On the left hand side, you see this lab migration project and completed labs that has been clicked. So, here are all the labs. Let me zoom it a little bit. Okay, it has come here below. Here are the examples. So, as a matter of fact, at this point, we have 73 labs that have been migrated. Now, if you click this, let us say control of electric drive. So, once again, it looks the same, it looks same as before, they are like the textbook companion. If I click this, I will get the PDF file. If I open it, here it is. So, this is done by Priyan Patel from this college. As we go down, you can actually see the experiments. Speed torque, if I click this, it takes you to whatever. So, here are all the problem statement, solution and so on. So, let me close this. Let me come here. No, let me come here. Let me go back. So, these 73 labs that have already been migrated may solve all your problems. You can immediately migrate your lab. In case a small fraction of your lab is not covered, go and add them and propose and you get a certificate, you get honorarium and more importantly, you can include this in your resume. So, let me go up. Of course, if I zoom it slightly less, you will see both of them in the same page. So, here are labs in progress. So, there are 26 labs in progress. Okay. I encourage you to participate in this, migrate your labs and also help others migrate their labs to Scilab. We are also improving Scilab toolboxes. We can call all Octave right now from Scilab. We have a great optimization toolbox already available. I am going to show some links. We are we have developed a signal processing toolbox, image processing toolbox. We are working on a control systems toolbox. We have made a lot of progress in an identification toolbox and also from uh, Scilab to see how does one go. We have a toolbox on that. Where are they available? Available as Scilab atoms. Optimization toolbox is already released. So, if I click this, it will take you here. This is available on uh, atoms dot scilab dot org page and here it is for C optimization toolbox. You can see that this has been downloaded 6500 times out of which 5500 are for this version, probably about 1000 for previous versions. So, I would encourage you to download try it. Other toolboxes to be released shortly. The code is available here. By the way, how did I get this here? By clicking FOSSI Scilab toolbox. Remember that we are in Scilab.in, FOSSI Scilab toolbox, which is what I clicked. If I click it, I get this. You can actually access them. And where is the code available? The code is available here. Let me click this. Okay, it, it's in, it is in that page. So, if I click this, you will get the code for FOSSI optimization toolbox. It says that installation instructions, installation instructions, documentation, example and so on. Here is the source code 
of this toolbox. Okay. So let us proceed. Here is a, a paper that we wrote. It appeared in an IEEE control conference. Let us move ahead. We want your participation to add more functions to Scilab toolboxes. We are also creating an XCOS cloud. Let me give you a, the link for that. So, this is in xcos.fossy.in, commonly used blogs. For example, as I told you, it is still under progress. You can click this, you can move things, you can connect them, you can simulate them, and so on. I would want you to explore this. Help us improve it. You may be very good in coding, please join us. You may have lots of xcos code, you want to try them out. Try them out, find the bugs, inform us. We will be very happy to have you as our partners. We have Scilab forums to answer your doubts. If you have a general doubt, so let us click this Fossey forum. It takes you to the page where Scilab questions are there. You can actually go to any of them for example, moving average. So, there is a question and there is an answer and so on. Remember, I have still not logged in. I have not logged in. In other words, to view the previously posed questions, login is not required. But if you want to post a question, then you have to register and log in. If I click this, if I say ask a question, it will come and say, login and if you have not registered, you have to register. Okay. That is only if you want to ask a question or to answer a question posed by somebody else, you have to register login. Okay. So, this is FOSSI forum, this is for general doubts and there are lots of examples, there are lots of questions already asked and answered some of them may be useful to you. Our experts are here to answer your questions and of course, if lot of people start answering questions posed by their colleagues in other colleges, then we can have instantaneous response. That is the beauty of once again open source forums. What if you have a question on Spoken Tutorial? You are going through let us say uh, for example, matrix operations. At 3 minute 35 seconds, you had a question. What was shown in the spoken tutorial did not work, or you wanted to do something related to what is shown at 3 minute 35 seconds. So, how do you do that? So, for that, we have a spoken tutorial forum. Let me click this. So, you can come here. So, here you can actually search, let me go to Scilab for example, now these questions, so the FOSS is Scilab, what is the tutorial general, this is installing, XCOS, getting started and so on. For every question, at what minute? So, for example, I told you 3 minute 35 seconds means you will say between 3 and 4, you will choose that. Second, you will say between 30 and 40 second, you will ask the question and maybe somebody will answer. Here are the previously posed questions and answers. Okay. Here is something Scilab code question asked between 16 and 17. So, here is somebody who has asked this question, it is not working and here is the answer. Okay. So, I would like you to uh, post your doubts and also answer the doubts posed by other people. Scilab runs on many systems. This is our Scilab implementation on the world's lowest cost tablet Akash. You can see the same 3D plot 
coming here. That means you can make Scilab run on almost any machine. Here is Scilab on our 10,000 rupee laptop, which has lots of amazing software already installed. You can see that when I click this here, I get software organized as college level software, school level software and so on. In college level software, programming environment, MATLAB like software, chemical process simulation and so on. Under this, you have so many things, Octave, R, Scilab and so on. So, Scilab comes with this machine also and this laptop is in the market now. How do you find out more about this? from my LinkedIn post. Here is the write up of this. There is a video that explains the research that went behind this work and this brochure gives the specs of this laptop. And then the website of our laptop is here. You can get more about it over here. Finally, we will come to FOSI, free and open source software for education. Here is the logo for FOSI, here is the logo for spoken tutorial. What do we do in FOSI? We promote FOSS in a big way. What does FOSS stand for? Free and open source software. Here is a link. If you go through this, you will see that we have lots of things. You can go to scilab.in through this. Python here, eSIM here, eSIM is for electronic circuit design, OSDAG is for steel structure design, DWSIM is an amazing chemical process simulation software, OpenFOAM is computational fluid dynamic software, Open Modelica is for solving a collection of differential algebraic equations, differential equations algebraic equations or combinations of these, war tools and so on. There are lots of nice things here. All of them are open source. We are also beginning to add spoken tutorials on R. In many of them, we have textbook companions, lab migration and actually many more nice things. I would like you to go through this, explore this page and find something very useful and I would also encourage you to join us. To conclude, I would encourage you to learn Scilab, also contribute to it. Visit the websites I have shown, use other FOSS that we promote, partner with us, use commercial software only when absolutely required. Our project, as I mentioned, has been funded by MHRD through two missions, National Mission on Education through ICT and Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya National Mission on Teachers and Teaching. We are very grateful to MHRD for funding our activities and for helping us pay students honorarium. Uh, we have paid honorarium to thousands of students uh, who participated in this activity. Without the contribution of students and faculty members from across the country, we could not have um, achieved so much. In fact, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our contributors. I would like to thank you for staying with me. It has turned out to be a longish lecture. I hope you do not mind it. Thanks for joining. Goodbye and Jai Hind.